That was Kerry's State Department. He should have been on the dock for John Durham. Instead, he's flying around lecturing us on how we should uh, destroy our economy. I can't keep up with all of our FOIA work. I mean, we're doing so much. We have hundreds, thousands of requests out there, hundreds of lawsuits over the years, and we're just piling on because we're in crisis. I don't know about you, but we can't file enough FOIA lawsuits. And uh, there's so much, the left is up to so much, so much, um, the left is up to no good in so many ways in our government. Uh, you know, we, as I said, we just can't do enough. And, you know, one of the biggest scams out there, in my view, is the climate scam. And uh, I tell you, for whatever reason, uh, whenever I'm criticized online, uh, besides attacking my personal appearance, is the left is obsessed with, obsessed with saying I'm a climate denialist or a denier. 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 I don't even know what that means. Because I dispute the radical leftist, socialist, totalitarian approach to controlling energy, the economy, and all of our lives uh, using alleged increases in temperature as a pretext? Yeah, I guess that makes me a climate denier, I guess, right? Well, of course, it doesn't scare us from doing the heavy lifting to figure out uh, more about this climate scam, which I think I described quite fairly. Uh, and uh, and isn't, isn't it so true? You know, we talk about limousine liberals, and I, I think we have to kind of escalate that. We have to talk about uh, private jet plane liberals. Uh, people like John Kerry and uh, these, these Hollywood and types who use private jets to fly to climate change conferences and big, or even big government jets to fly, in the cl fly to cl climate change uh, uh, conferences and um, in a way that probably promotes more carbon distribution than anything else they're complaining about. Now, on the other hand, I don't think jet travel increases global temperatures. I don't think carbon has a significant impact on global temperatures, but that's another matter. Uh, but they don't want us to drive cars, but they can fly jets, right? So I get, I digress again. Uh, but that issue is interesting, uh, but it's especially interesting when they're hiding records about what they're doing in this area. And John Kerry, who was one of the most corrupt State Department secretaries in the history of the United States, was appointed uh, by Joe Biden to be his climate czar or excuse me, his climate envoy. Uh, he, of course, doesn't want anyone to know what he's actually doing with tax dollars, John Kerry. Uh, we had asked for copies of all records concerning individual authorizations for and the costs of John Kerry uh, for any official travel from January to present. Uh, the request includes any reimbursement amounts the government paid to Mr. Kerry. All calendar or calendar entries for John Kerry whether made by him personally or on his behalf from January 21st to the present. Copies of all organizational charts for the Office of Special Presidential Envoy for Climate, including any sub-organizations reflecting names and or position titles of each individual in these positions. Obviously, we don't want their social security numbers, but we want to know who the heck is working for them and what they're doing. So, do I need to, t to t tell you that the fact that we can't get this information is a scandal? An outrageous scandal? What are they hiding? I mean, we have a right to know what John Kerry's up to, what we're paying to fly him around the world, and who we're paying to actually work for him. Now, when I said he was a corrupt Secretary of State, one of the folks who has kind of gotten away from accountability under, under Durham's failed um, special counsel operation, many have gotten away, in my view, uh, but John Kerry was one of the worst because his State Department was a vehicle and for spreading the fake dossier lies, for trying to undermine President Trump 
with illegal transfers of classified information and illegal leaks of classified information, and otherwise trying to upend uh, the peaceful transfer of power. You, we hear that a lot with January 6th. John Kerry's State Department was literally rushing classified information out the door to friends in Congress in order to get Trump. We've got the proof. In fact, they were, they were sending it out and, and kind of patting themselves on the back for meeting the deadline or beating the deadline. And what was the deadline? President Trump getting, um, uh, taking the oath of office. That was Trump's, that was Kerry's State Department. He should have been on the dock for John Durham. Instead, he's flying around lecturing us on how we should uh, destroy our economy in order to achieve his uh, crazed climate agenda. Forgive me for being blunt, but that's the truth of it. So, yeah, we're suing to figure out what he's been doing uh, for Joe Biden. Uh, but I tell you, we've been second to none in exposing what he did for Obama. And that's enough, frankly, to make him ineligible to have any position of public trust for the rest of his life, in the least. Talk about impeachment. He should be impeached for his handling of Russiagate under ba Obama, the corruption there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like our video down below.